Good morning! Today is another very cold morning here in Gothenburg and it's Friday, which means it's Fancy Friday! So I'm going to get suited and booted with a tie and everything and I will look so, so sparkling and shiny for everybody. Which is going to be great, but enough about me and let's get into it. So today I am going to talk to you about Go and PHP. And when I think that one makes more sense than the other, or rather how I compare these two languages and the considerations I make when I think about them. Now this is, as per usual, my little, you know, in my versus videos. I try to be objective, but it's very difficult sometimes because, hey, I am just, I'm just some guy who ha has opinions like everybody else. So take it for what it is. Hopefully it's going to be interesting slash useful for you. So let's start off by defining some things that I think that are worth considering when you have these two languages. Now, let's start off by, with PHP. So PHP being the older of these two languages with the most amount of legacy and heritage and basically being the most established one of the two. So PHP was originally developed in order to be a web-based programming language and there ergo this entire discussion is going to have to be kind of in the area of building web pages even though Go can do so much more than just web-based programming you know because go being a system level language with support for web web server development if you will now php can do other stuff than ser like you know web servers i'm not saying it can't but it it was never really designed to do anything else it has grown much more powerful with recent re releases but i think that most of us still think of php as a web based framework or a web based programming language sorry so that's where the strength lies. And PHP does two things extremely well. It does image processing fairly well, like heavy duty processing of some sort. And it does, uh, it basically does, uh, I'm losing my mind here, uh, web, uh, web HTML rendering very well as well. Because these are kind of the things that you would expect from a workhorse web language to, you know, to do very, very well. And then you have Go, which is, Unfortunately, I can't really comment so much about how well Go does image processing and like these types of heavy-duty operations. Now, Go does have the, the, pro the, the concept of parallel processing and so forth because with channels and so forth. Once again, I am a little bit inexperienced when it comes to these things, so I'm pretty sure somebody else can tell you more about them than I can. But if they have things such as parallel processing and so forth, it stands to reason that Go can be pretty performant when it comes to doing like heavier operations, such you know, image processing, any type of st any stuff that requires more CPU power than you know your average database access or your basic web request, right? So, on the other hand, you have Go, which is a system level language. It's absolutely wonderful. I love. Pre oh, I, I, so far I haven't found anything I don't like about Go. No, sorry, yeah, I know that's a lie. I actually, there is one thing that I'm not a big fan of, and it's kind of mitigated by the innovations that IntelliJ are bringing to the table. Like, they're actually, they have a really nice ID. Like, I am, I kind of, I'm going to be honest, like, I lust. I lust for the, after the thought of being able to work in Go full time with a prop, like a real ID supported, uh, like a real ID such as IntelliJ, because like IntelliJ has one of the best, if not the best, like ID chains in the world, like WebStorm, PHP Storm, like, just vanilla, in, vanilla IntelliJ and so forth. And I think like they do that stuff really great. And having something like that for Go is going to mitigate a lot of the problems I had with Go in the beginning when I started doing it with like Sublime and like text editors and so forth. It's not a big problem, but I think this is going to just really hit the ball out of the park when this uh, ID becomes like really, really stable and standardized. But anyway, Go has more, in my opinion, it can do more than PHP. 
from the little web rendering that I've done with it, it seems to be able to do most of what PHP can do. The one thing I'd never really had a look at, which is going to be a little bit of a tiebreaker, which is unfortunate that I haven't checked that out before this video, sorry to say, but the idea of having layout support and so forth and partial rendering in Go. I don't know if you can actually do that in your templates, if you can import like different parts of an HTML page into one and you know, into one HTML page and render it as a single entity. I hope that, that you can, because if you can't, like then PHP kind of wins it on that. And yeah, that's not a big, it's not a big thing, but it is a thing. Apart from that, Go, Go has an amazing interface for web development. Like the, I think it's, probably it's the only second to express JS in my opinion when it comes to doing web routes like route HTML routing no not HTML HTTP routing sorry it has the second best one and some will I would even argue that it's it's kind of almost this like split first place with Express because it's so close to Express and then it's a system level language of course which makes it amazing at it, it makes it more powerful than most languages overall and as you may or may not hear now I am extremely biased in this uh, little rant of mine and so if I had to choose between Go and PHP odds are like as I am today with the knowledge I have today I would go with Go almost every single time the only time I would say that I, I me personally I'm not saying that this is right for you but it, the only time I would say that hey maybe I would go with something else is if either I have let's say that you for some reason like go is a little bit go is a little bit less accessible maybe maybe I'm saying I don't this is such a small thing but I really want to have something speaking for PHP in this because I want to you know I don't want you to get the idea that hey PHP is bad because it's not bad it's just that I really like Go and it has I can Go has so much more in my opinion to offer it has so much so I would say that PHP may or may be a little bit easier to get started with Maybe it's a little bit easier to make web pages and like kind of get that stuff going and maybe there's some few more tutorials here and there for web-based programming. So your experience may vary, but that may be the only thing I can really say that I think speaks for PHP. Otherwise, I would say go with Go every day of the week. And actually, I think Go is, I guess, one of the stronger languages on the market today. So hopefully you'll get excited and as excited about that language as I am try to use it a little bit and if you're just starting out have a look at it because honestly I think it's it's uh, it's really really great like it's a really good language check out the IDE and start playing around with it because I think you're gonna be very happy with it